Thank you very well, Saint. Thank you very much indeed. Good evening, everybody. As the teams come out, Stuttgart in the red. Our first duty as normal. There's a good contingent of Leeds United fans. About 1,500 of them here, I'm told. And certainly uh, there'll be no need for Howard Wilkinson to motivate his side here tonight. They feel they've had a raw deal. Let's just have a look at the two teams, though. Le Leeds then with uh, John Lukic in goal. Uh, John Newsom at number two. Number three, Tony Dorigo. Four, David Batty. Five, Chris Fairclough. Six, Chris White. Seven, Gordon Strachan. Se eight, Eric Cantona. Nine, Lee Chapman. Ten, Gary McAllister. And eleven, Gary Speed. A change of defensive formation, as the Saint was saying for Leeds. Fairclough will play at right back and mark the dangerous Kurgle. Newsom joins White at the centre of the defence, with Batty returning to the midfield. Strachan stays wide on the right, supported by McAllister, and Speed will get a free roll down the left. Stadium here that can hold uh, 120,000 uh, fans. Here's Eric Cantona, and usually does when Barcelona are playing. Uh, today, I doubt there are more than about 7,000 people here. Incidentally, UEFA have made it still for all that a Category A game, and so Barcelona have no fewer than 5,000 staff here on duty tonight. If that sounds as crazy as it does to you as it does to me. Let's get on to the Stuttgart team then. In goal they have Eike Immel, two Gunter Schaefer, three Michael Fronzek, four the Yugoslav Slobodan Dubacic, five Thomas Struntz, six Guido Buchwald the captain, seven Andreas Buch who scored in both the legs, eight the Icelandic international Sverison, nine Fritz Walter, Stuttgart's most dangerous player, ten Andre Golka who comes in for Gaudinho, and eleven Ludwig Kurgel. They've got a pretty settled formation, really, where Buchwald is the biggest influence in their defence, German international. Uh, they made good use of the flanks through Buck and uh, Kurgel, and, of course, there's always Falter to puncture Leeds' ambitions. Referee tonight comes from Italy, Fabio Baldas, with two Italian linesmen, and five substitutes, of course, of which two can be played. Ray Wallace, you'll notice, amongst the uh, Leeds United substitutes. Now the talking and the politics and the arguments about whether or where this match should be played are over. It's going to be decided now in this magnificent stadium here. In 90 minutes, maybe it might need extra time, maybe, who knows, penalties. But it'll be over tonight, a fresh game, it'll be finished one way or the other with this eerie backdrop here in the Camp Nou Stadium. Capacity, as I say, of 120,000, and just something like five or 6,000 inside. Leeds in a yellow strip. David Matty, number four, gets this third game underway. Matty sitting into that midfield there. White just nodding in here for Dorigo. Wilkinson saying we've got to go from them for them from the start. Pick up exactly where we left off on that brilliant night in Ellen Road. Go for the jugular, as he says. And a goal kick. The point he made was that the uh, fantastic Ellen Road crowd that night panicked the Germans. Well, there won't be a crowd here tonight that will do that. And so he says, my players have got to do it for me. But equally, as he is well aware. Mustn't uh, make silly mistakes and lose the tie really over the first quarter of an hour. Stuttgart, who are fifth in the German first division. Batty knocking it out. Chapman turning it in for Gary Speed. This free reign mostly over on the left hand side, but he's gone to the right at the moment now. Cantona trying to turn, trying to find speed in there again. Batty getting in there, just nicking the ball to Strachan for Leeds United. A bright little start here for Leeds. Newsom with his uh, first touch, centre back there alongside uh, Chris White. Strachan again, trying to get Cantona in once more. And the ball knocked away, but still the Germans can't get it away. This time it's Strachan turning inside very neatly. Cantona had strayed into an offside position and gone off the field of play. It's with Strachan again. Very poor leads. Chris 
Fairclough with it. No. Chapman up for that one. And it came off Chapman's head for a goal kick for Stuttgart. So saying the uh, Leeds felt they had a raw deal over this business, and I think most fair minded people probably would agree with them. But of course, it's history now that Stuttgart fielded that one foreign player too many at Ellen Road and broke UEFA's own rules. Most felt that the Germans should have been eliminated at the very least, that Leeds should have got a third game at Ellen Road. And you can see that Wilkinson's work really has been done for him tonight. Leeds coming out there with a real let's show them attitude. And you can be absolutely sure there was scrupulous checking of both team lists tonight. Germans with their three foreigners, Dubicic, Kerr, or rather um, Knup is the second one, and Sverisland of Iceland is the third. Added uh, three uh, foreigners and three assimilated foreigners, uh, two assimilated foreigners, Strachan getting it in, Buchwald with a header away, McAllister trying to volley it back, and another goal kick for Stuttgart, who hardly been out of the, if indeed they have been out of their first half, in the opening uh, three minutes of the game. Well, that's what Howard Wilkinson said he was going to do. He was going to attack the Stuttgart and, uh, in the opening minutes of this game. They've certainly thrown everything into the Stuttgart half. Uh, and I suppose maybe that is the best way to play. If they could get an early goal in the first 10 or 15 minutes, which they obviously would hope to do, then really Stuttgart have got a problem. Of getting back, being hustled by Fritz Walter, and you do get the impression, uh, Dennis, that it's a very, very big pitch. This one, and both sides who've leaked goals recently, you will be surprised if there weren't one or two goals in this game here tonight. Hopefully, there will be, and uh, hopefully, that they will be more for Leeds United because after their stirring performance in the second game, really, they deserve to go through, didn't they? And really, UEFA really copped out. Stuttgart should be out, they broke the rule, they had four foreign players and Leeds should not be having to play this game. But in saying that, I'm sure Howard Wilkinson is quite happy to have the opportunity of still being in the tournament. And Thompson. they know themselves tonight that they've got to go out, because the whole world will be watching this game, won't they, what the result will be. And if Leeds go about it the right way, then there's no... I, I saw Stuttgart prior to the season, as we both did, uh, the Makita tournament. I didn't think they were a great side and I was very surprised when Leeds came back from the first game 3-0 down. I thought they had Fritz Walter up front who looked a very sharp player indeed. But I was most surprised. But uh, Leeds came back in the second game and this is why this game is on tonight. So let's hope and that we'll sort of pray that Leeds could win the game. Batty with that header there. One by Dorigo. Speed. Batty again. So I think Leeds are competent enough. I think they feel they have the measure of Stuttgart. Just providing they can keep their discipline and their concentration, which was lacking, and there was a lack of concentration there in the German side, which was certainly lacking uh, by Leeds in that first game in uh, Stuttgart. But here's uh, Walter on the break again. Uh, Newsom going with him this time, the ball out of play. But he's quick, is this man Fritz Walter. For the start of this season, 135 goals from 270 starts. As Howard Wilkinson was saying this morning, he's Germany's answer to Gary Lineker. And uh, really, it's Chris Fairclough here who's got to do a really good, tight marking job on Kurgle and leave Newsom and White to look after uh, Fritz Feld. Indeed, there is uh, Fairclough really hustling Kurgle. Oh, Kurgle was deep inside his own half. This is Dubacic, the uh, Yugoslav, playing it to Andreas Buck. way past Gary Speed showing some good acceleration then brought down by McAllister and a free kick to Stuttgart just outside the Leeds penalty area so Buck brought down Leeds getting four or five men in the wall Lukic wanting a clear sight at it behind it, Fritz Walter behind it. So, an excellent shot there of Lukic lining up that ball. So it might be uh, 
Bonzek, who has a real left-footed dig on him. With Strunz playing the short ball, the number five to Bonzek. Then he's claiming the Strachan is within the ten yards. Lukic really alert there. I didn't know. Balta and shot well wide of the Leeds goal. Made the mistake in that second game. Dieter Hernis there. Too many foreigners on their team list. Leeds very relaxed about John Newsom coming into the central defensive position. Howard Wilkinson saying that he played a good dozen or so games there towards the end of last season and said was probably one of our best players. There's Dorigo playing it in towards Eric Cantona. Up he goes, but he doesn't get to it. But Strachan might on the far side. Fonzek's going with him. It's a goal kick. Now, uh, little Strachan was unlucky there, wasn't it? It was a nice ball that went over. Little Strachan had made the run on the right. Just, just a little bit too fast for him. But he's going to be a key player for, uh, for Leeds United tonight. He's such a uh, commanding figure as a midfield. He makes everything tick. He makes them, makes the moves well. Emil with the goal kick for Stuttgart. Harrison got ahead to it, but Dorigo got a boot to it. Chapman knocking it back for Gary Speed. Chapman playing it in forward towards uh, Eric Cantona. A little flick from him goes straight though to Fonzek for Stuttgart. Headed down and away by Newsom to Strachan. Towards Chapman. Cantona. Speed's come towards the far post. rather better than Schaefer foul on the Frenchman gives uh, Leeds United a free kick and of course Glasgow Rangers await the winners of this game in the next round of the European Cup Walter Smith and Archie Knox the two men at the helm at Ibrox are here tonight Rigo playing it in, Cantona stretching that long neck of his but couldn't quite get to it. He played magnificent, didn't he, in the second game. I thought that he was, well, Leeds United played particularly well, but uh, Cantona was excellent. He made, caused so many problems, didn't he, in his good uh, defence. He was good in the air, scored the goal if you want to give it to <laughs> him. Good jump by Chris White knocked back and will has to knock uh, it away with his feet of course Leeds United's throw they've made the brighter of the, uh, the start of the two sides uh, Dennis Law without a doubt yes uh, as you say they've taken the game to Stuttgart they've knocked the ball about well you know they haven't looked particularly dangerous but uh, they've uh, not allowed Stuttgart to settle down at all with a header Bonzek being hustled by Chapman and another throw to Leeds United and a lot of the confidence of Leeds United built on the fact that they felt certainly for the first hour in the first game in Stuttgart they more than held their own looked really comfortable it was only when they lost their discipline and showed their European inexperience over the last half an hour that they leaked three goals then, of course, they thoroughly dominated the second leg, having already beaten Stuttgart in the Makita Trophy, the uh, pre-season, up at Ellen Road. Kurgle gets it away. A player who plays in fits and starts. You just have to hope, if you're a Leeds fan, that this is not one of his nights. He's uh, a couple of caps for Germany. Chris, Chris Fairclough, the man who's got the job of watching him tonight. Another throw for Leeds.
in there. Cantona in there. Gary Speed in there. Knocked back again. And across the face of the goal. And, uh, very nearly prodded in in the end. I think it was Buchwald who got a boot to it and put it behind for the corner. Some excellent work by Batty. Some excellent work by Cantona. And some threatening work by Leeds United all through. Well, that was a good move. It was nicely put up. Batty fired across. It could go anywhere. And there was... I think it was big battle, wasn't it, to knock it over for the corner, but it's a good pressure from Leeds United. Chapman at the near post, White on the six-yard area, Cantona just outside the six-yard area. Chipped in towards that near post. McAllister. Batty playing it in again. But if they could keep doing that and uh, not allowing Stuttgart to get there, had they had the ball, they? they put the pressure on them. Uh, and that was a good opportunity there, but... Foul there on the number 10, Golka, and a yellow card for Tony Dorigo. But if they could keep doing that and uh, not allowing Stuttgart to get there, had they had the ball, they would put the pressure on them, uh, and that was a good opportunity there. But... A foul there on the number 10, Golka, and a yellow card for Tony Dorigo. stretching out and allow Dubacic to get in. Rigo watching him. Two of Stuttgart's goals, one in the first leg and that's what looked to be a crucial one in the second leg. Both came from this side of the field. Andreas Buck. Struntz. Dubacic. Buck fouled. Lukic quickly out of his goal. Get out! Jump by Buchwald, picked up here by David Batty. Cantona, speed. Unfair challenge, and a free kick for Leeds. Sprints with a challenge. Callister with the free kick, floating it towards Gary Speed. Kubicic gets it away. Look, quarter of an hour gone. This playoff game in the European Cup, nil-nil here in Barcelona between uh, Stuttgart and Leeds United. Kubicic. mistake by Dubicic over there back there drilled in the ball for so long now it's speed to get in but a goal kick for all that I think I'm one of uh, nature's great pessimists and uh, although Leeds are pressing and doing well here you just always fear that their concentration might just slip for a moment and if it does it's the Leeds bench if it does then the likes of Fritz Walter Kurgle and Buck will be in and might well punish them very severely. They've got to remain diligent at the back as well. Taker. There's a quarter of an hour at half time to uh, put 
whatever might be going wrong right here's Ludwig Kogel Ludwig Okay, caught in possession this time by Cantona. Looked like an obstruction there by Dubacic, who's uh, not exactly having the best of nights so far. Well, that wasn't a particularly good ball, but you must say, even in the opening 15, 16 minutes, that Leeds have done all right. They've had that one opportunity, but they look comfortable, don't they? They, 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 not been they don't look too dangerous, but at the same time, they're not doing anything away at the back. Newsom at the back is doing much well for what he's had to do. As you probably said, Ryan, that you've got to watch Fitz Bolter and Kogel and Buck up front uh, to keep a hold of those three, then right. But at the moment, these will be, I'm sure, will be quite happy the way the things are going. Here's Frontek now for Stuttgart. Powerful run here by the defender. Likes to get it onto his left foot, but couldn't do that. In comes Dorigo, and a nice little back heel, though. He didn't quite run for Dorigo from very speed. But a throw for Leeds United. Towards Chapman, having a good lean on Guido Buchwald there. Buchwald doing a bit of leaning in his own accord. Strachan knocking it back to Newsom. Towards uh, Lee Chapman, nodded on by him, but nobody else in the yellow shirt there. Lee looked a bit frustrated there, didn't he? But uh, he's got to forget that. There's going to be a battle up in that area anyway. Whites, keep where it's safe. Schaefer, Dubacic. Chapman's after him. And uh, Fairclough will surely get there before Kurgel. And a lovely bit of play there by Fairclough, turning beautifully, sending that up the line for Strachan. Sadly for Leeds United, nobody in a yellow shirt to uh, get on the end of Strachan's pass. And it's Buchwald, the captain now for Stuttgart. Played into Golka. Knocked forward again to Valta. Newsom's there. Good defender. 22 years there. old, John Newsom, Sheffield boy. Played the first eight games of this season, but then uh, was left out of the first leg, and this is his uh, first game since that first leg in uh, Stuttgart. Sorry, Dennis. I was just saying, good defending, wasn't it? You saw Fritz Volta uh, make that uh, very fast run and defended well. Fair club. There we go. Some neat play here by uh, Leeds United. Speed taking it up again. Brought down right under the referee's eye there by Sverison. Well, De Rigo had been booked before. That was definitely one that should have been booked as well. Well, it's a free kick for Leeds. John Newsom with it. 1,500 Leeds fans behind. Uh, Stuttgart goal, urging their team in yellow on now. Alistair also there, number 10. Over here towards Cantona and Speed, they both went up for that one. Walter got a bit caught up there, so did the referee. And they both tumbled into the box there. I think put off by the Italian referee. And both are down, I think it's McAllister down for Leeds United. It is. And uh, Struntz for Stuttgart. The right calamity of the referee got in the way, didn't he? Of right. course, McAllister bumped, well, really clattered into Struntz. <laughs> I didn't play a particularly good one too there, but it was a bit of a knock. Struntz, very important utility player for them, a man who cost them a million pounds from Bayern Munich. But, uh, there's no doubt at all about it also that if he's struggling it's very important that Leeds United get Gary McAllister back on their feet again because 
he really is vital to Leeds United's course through that midfield area. I think McAllister is all right, but a bit of a knock, wasn't he? Gary's all right anyway. Yeah. But I think Strunch could be uh, having a problem. McAllister definitely all right, but uh, he seemed to knock him on the knee, seemed to catch him on the knee, didn't he? Uh, looks in a bit of pain. I gather there's some uh, villagers from Eric Cantona's home village in France. Mm. They've come here to support old Ua himself. Well, Strunz is going off. Mm. Well, it looked a nasty knock, didn't it? Uh, caught him on the knee. And they're already uh, beginning to warm up the number 15, Stremel. Here's uh, Golka. Getting Brook in there. He held up for a little moment. And Leeds almost caught out there between Book and Volta. Well, they've really got to be careful on that, haven't they? Uh, the quick breakaway by the Germans. Here's Cantona. Up ahead of him is uh, Lee Chapman, who's in the shackles of uh, Buchwald at the moment. Yes, I mean, that was a really a, a terrific opportunity for Stuttgart, and uh, Fritz Walter didn't, didn't get a hold of it, but Leeds have got to be careful. Well, Stramble's coming on now. And Strunz will be missing uh, from those midfield areas. That's really quite a blow for Stuttgart. We're missing uh, from those midfield areas. That's really quite a blow for Stuttgart. Strachan. Locked in towards Gary Speed. And a goal kick. Curious flat atmosphere here, isn't it? It's amazing. It's have, you ever played, have you ever played in a game <laughs> where there's so few people in the stadium as big as this place? Well, we were talking before the game started. Uh, no, I haven't. And you could see the empty terracing here as that ball has come over. And it really is such a it's such a huge stadium, isn't it? Look at it. I mean, you could actually pick a spectator for each part of the ground, couldn't you? And I think you still fill it. Except for us TV commentators who are virtually in a position to shake hands with the man on the moon. But they're all crowded into about sort of five square yards. Well, I tell you what, you should have been in <laughs> Moscow last week because we did it from a single deck of us uh, off the track, and now we are, as you say, so far away from the from the boat. Strabel with the header there. Here's Strachan. Up to Lee Chapman. Strachan. We're up here, somewhere. Fatty gets it back to White. Martin Newsom. Forward again towards Chapman. Pallister trying to get to this one and will succeed in doing so. Buchwald's come across there, which means he's left Chapman for a moment, but his challenge was a good one. Found Book with a little pass. Strachan tried to bring him back. And there was no foul there, said the Italian referee. Strachan in possession again, floating it in again towards Cantona. Down he goes. And the referee just waves play on. In fact, it's a goal kick. It's going to be hard for the two front players, uh, Chapman and Cantona. They're knocking long balls up. There's so many defenders. They're going to get knocked. I think Cantona went for a bit of a penalty there, but it was certainly didn't look as so far from where we were, but maybe it was so far away. But it's going to be a difficult night for the strikers, to, particularly when they're not long ball. It's a throw on the far side then for Leeds, which Chris Fairclough will take. Still nil-nil here in Barcelona between Stuttgart and Leeds United to decide who plays Glasgow Rangers in the next round of the European Cup. Batty crossing it in. Chapman trying to get it on the turn. A shot by Cantona, not really with enough pace to worry Ike Immel. Although, to be fair, he's a goalkeeper that hasn't looked very convincing in the uh, couple of legs so far. Good header by Newsom as we see him going down again. Strebel. Out of play. It is difficult to play 
in these conditions as well, you know, the lack of atmosphere. It's, uh, but for both teams, not only for Leeds United, but also for Stuttgart as well. Look at that, I mean, it's the empty ground, isn't it? There is no doubt about that, that uh, the winning of this battle between the two fans is done by Leeds United. I came over with many of them on the plane this afternoon from London. They tried to done by car, left at 3 o'clock in the morning or something, so they really deserve something more from time. Here's Batty. To be fair, the Leeds fans at the moment have got a bit more to shout about. It's still nil-nil, but it's been Leeds who've been doing more of the pressing without absolutely making a chance for themselves yet, but looking quite threatening as Cantona plays it down. McAllister almost got that in his stride, knocks it back again for little Strecken. Charged away again by the Stuttgart defence to Golka. Speed picking up that mistake from the substitute. Down he goes, right on the edge of the box, this could be interesting. McAllister will get in behind this one, Strecken might fancy a little teaser. Dorigo's one who thumps his free kicks in, and it's inside the D right on the edge of that Stuttgart penalty area. And, the, and Gary Speed, I mean, he was determined that he was going to get through that and they had to pull him down. I don't think he was too happy with that tackle. No yellow cards. Emil does a lining up job. Speed is still on the ground. Getting to his feet. Leeds are still protesting for the referee. They felt there should have been... I don't know whether they were looking for a yellow card on one of the Stuttgart players, but they weren't very happy with the challenge, that's for sure. Let's see what they can do with this free kick to punish it. Strachan behind it, Dorigo, as I say, the three there, Strachan, Dorigo and McAllister. Batty just placing the ball on the spot, plenty in the wall. I just wonder what sort of view Immel's got of it. Batty's still determinedly placing that ball at the correct spot. Who's it going to be? Callister, it's saved, and it's pushed just wide by Fairclough. Well, that really was very, very unlucky indeed, because Stuttgart had pulled all their players back into the penalty. Seven in the wall, McAllister, thunderous shot, good save by Emil, and there was Fairclough, unlucky just to screw it wide. And while that's been happening, Stuttgart got on with the job. Leeds had to uh, get themselves back in defensive positions fairly quickly. Here's Stremel taking it from uh, Sverison into Golka. Dorigo getting back there and then losing out to Stremel. Sverison onto the left foot, wide of Lukic's goal. This was very unlucky. It was a good save by Emil, wasn't it? He saved it well, but there, there was Fairclough. You just feel it. <laughs> you feel the whole situation if it had been a forward. And then the Sverison at the other end, weak shot it was. I mean, it looks dangerous from there, but we, we saw it was going well wide. We just felt like Fairclough had it been a forward by, you know. I'm not saying... Yeah, it, I think it if he'd been it. on target with it, because I think Emil ah. was down and was completely off balance and out of the picture. Well, he had made such a great save that he, he was down and out of the game completely. And if, as you say, if it had been on target, then it would have been in the game. free kick. Sverison's header for Stuttgart. Chris Fairclough for Leeds United, up to Lee Chapman. Buchwald. Houston battling with Walter. Up goes McAllister. Fronzek. is alleged to have fouled Fronzek there. It's a free kick to Stuttgart. Just past the half-hour mark. Sverison again. Kurgle chasing. Fairclough going with him, but Fairclough had spotted that that was going into touch for a throw to Leeds United. They look a much more comfortable side with Batty in the midfield, I must say. Dorigo. Here he is again, Batty. A real all-action man and uh, never really looked totally at home in that right-back position which, he was, which was forced on him in the uh, opening two games. It came off the German, it'll be a throw to Leeds. 
fairly chastening last week for the uh, German side. They lost those four goals in Leeds and then promptly went to play Eintracht Frankfurt in the Bundesliga and lost 4-0 last weekend. Leeds, of course, lost 4-2 last weekend at, uh, at Ipswich. Still no goals here tonight as yet. Bronzek getting it away, not very well. It might come to Cantona, no. Just wouldn't come down quickly enough for him. As I'm saying, it is such a big pitch, and from this crow's nest view that we've got here, Dennis, you can see what a big pitch it is, and it's very difficult to defend with great discipline uh, over 90 minutes on a pitch like this. Very much indeed, and uh, so Leeds could be happy with where the things are going. Fairclough with the cross towards Gary Speed. Couldn't quite knock it back to the liking of Chapman, but a bad clearance again going straight to Strachan. Returning it, a fantastic goal for Leeds United. Gordon Strachan puts Leeds ahead. Well, it was no more than they deserved. I mean, they've taken the game to Stuttgart. They've had two couple of uh, reasonable opportunities. We felt that Speed's header just before that could have been a better header back to Chapman. But of course it was a back clearance by Stuttgart. Comes out to Strachan and he's not one to score that many goals and certainly not from that distance. He's hit it very well indeed. Emil has just got a touch to it. Didn't get enough to knock it past the post. And there was uh, Leach's first goal. It really was a superb. And who better to score than little Strachan who's been an inspiration for Leach United. Now it's important that they keep themselves together, that they get their tackles in now and don't let the Germans get back quickly into this game. Strachan with a long cross ball this time, only his second goal of the season. Well, it couldn't have come in a better time and Immel will be a bit disappointed, wasn't he? He got his hand to it, but uh, didn't get enough to knock it past the post. Strachan with a long cross ball this time, only his second goal of the season. Well, it couldn't have come in a better time, and Immel will be a bit disappointed, wasn't he? He got his hand to it, but uh, didn't get enough to knock it past the post. But they've been threatening, haven't they? They haven't been sort of dominating the game, but they've taken the game to lose. They've been the better team, and they really deserve that goal. Here's Schaefer. It all came, actually, from a bad clearance out of defence as well, which Strachan picked up. And here's Schaefer now. The cross is in, and it's easy for uh, John Lukic. So with that goal, after some 33 minutes of flying, attempted a save there, and that's the reaction from the Leeds United bench. Speed trying to get in amongst them this time. Here's little Strachan on that far side again. In for Cantona. And a corner now for Leeds. It came off Buchwald. minutes to go to half time played it short this time to McAllister good little turn again been struck in a yard now he's given McAllister a couple of yards he gets a good ball in there White will try and keep it going finds Batty flicked on again this time towards Newsom right up there but he's Played it a little too firmly, goes behind for the goalkeeper. Well, they've not been afraid to throw players forward, have they? I mean, there's Newsom, the central defender, right up in the Stuttgart penalty area. Didn't quite control it, but the point being that they've got the goal. Beautiful goal at that. Struck beautiful. What a lovely Scottish player. <laughs> Look at that. Where's that beautiful? It's a beautiful picture, isn't it? And here come Leeds again. McAllister. They've had the better of it, they look comfortable, they've just got to stay firm and strong and disciplined. Can't repeat that often enough because German sides are the same whenever they play, they are fantastic competitors. And they're always likely to sneak something right at the end when at least you want it. That's true, Brian, but they've got to come out, and whether they come out in this half, if the, if the scoreline finishes at 1-0, or the second half, and by doing that, and we've so many games in the past, haven't we, when they come out to get the equalising goal, the other team could break away and get the second, and if you feel that if Leeds could get that, then the game will be over. One, it's not over. Two, I would say it's a bad thing. Foul by McAllister there, spotted by the Italian referee. Free kick to Stuttgart. There's the uh, goal again. 
coming in from all angles, but it still counts only one. Matty. Head to it goes behind for the corner. A little bit of a mix up with White and Lukic. You felt if Lukic maybe had shouted, uh, White could have left that instead of giving away the corner. Kirgel with the uh, corner usually delivers a good one, and four big, five big defenders up from the back on the edge of that Leeds penalty area. Kirgel driving it in there. And it goes behind for the goal kick. Volta wasn't far, though, at that far post from tucking it in again. They really must watch him all the time. He wasn't, but to be fair, he was well offside. And I'm looking down at the linesman. He, I mean, you'll see it here when the header comes in. He's got well offside, and the linesman did not put his flag up. Well, they should look a bit happier, shouldn't you? <laughs> Fantastic aerial battles going on between Cantona and defenders and Chapman and defenders. It's about eight minutes to half time. If you've just joined us, the news is good. Leeds United leading Stuttgart by one goal to nil. The scorer, Gordon Strang. Here's Dubacek for Stuttgart in the red strip. Good ball there. Play for Stremel. Crossed in by him. Well, it's Gorka who scored the equaliser. And the news suddenly not so good. A great cross in there by the substitute. Stremel. Incredible, isn't it? It's one of their few attacks. It was a very good cross. So there was Gorka unmarked to have that header, make it very difficult for the goalkeeper. One of those that invariably is a goal, but as you see as the ball comes across, Volka on, as it goes over, Volka completely on mark, and Lucas is no chance. A obviously a bad goal to lose, but very Here's McAllister. Sorry, Dennis. Volker again. Stremel. Noise now has a German accent to it. Sverison sweeps it wide to Kurgel. Kurgel getting past Fairclough, but not past Newsom. Dubicic. Wide to Book again. Rigo. Knocking it away. Chapman coming across. Buchwald is there with him. Buchwald's clearance. Dorigo's header for Leeds. Alta stopped by White. Here's Matty surging forward again. Gary Speed, David Batty. Newsom. The Cantona. He's turned his man beautifully here. What sort of cross can we find? Can he reach Chapman with it? No, he can't. Here it is with Buck again. Stremel. Kurgel. Dalter up ahead. It's gone past Fairclough. Little acceleration. Sverison's waiting in the middle, so to is Walter. And nodded away by Dorigo for the corner. So Leeds in this last five minutes before half-time, somewhat under the whip. As well, there's the uh, goal that by Golka that made it 1-1. But it was a good piece of defending a moment ago by Dorigo under a lot of pressure. It's not over yet for Leeds as Kurgel now delivers this corner. 
Inside the last five minutes of the first half, Gary Speed gets it away with a good, powerful header. Schaefer. And a goal kick for Leeds. Lukic with the goal kick. So about three minutes to half time, 1-1 one, one the score as you can see. Batty being forced back but finds Chris White as an ally. Being played now to Lukic. The only player who played in all 49 League and Cup games last season, the big goalkeeper, and all 14 this season for Leeds as well. He certainly had no chance with that uh, Golker header just a moment ago that made it 1-1. And here's Golker again. Trying to get Puck in. But Dorigo had regained his ground very quickly, turns it away very skillfully and finds David Batty. Up to McAllister. Now to Chapman, Newsom, Cantona, strong fella turned away, got away from Schaefer there with that uh, little challenge of his. McAllister trying to get it in again, come to McAllister once again, speed supporting him, but between them they just couldn't make anything of it and uh, Stuttgart get it away to book into Golker again, Balthas up ahead of him, Kurgles away on the left. Dubacic, the big sweepers up from the back as well. But in the end, Fairclough and Newsom with a chance to get it away. Clear there by John Lukic. Matty. Oh, sold him a bit short there to Strachan. And Batty went into the challenge. I think on Frunzek. Free kick to Stuttgart. That is challenging away, forced on him by being shortchanged by that pass from Gordon Strachan. Well, we're towards the last minute of the first half now. Leeds must defend stoutly here with the score at 1 1. Must not concede another goal before half time. Bronzek fit again. The free kick. And it must have just flicked off the lead's head. Just quite surprised by that decision from the Italian linesman. And Buck will take it. To Buchwald. Played in again. White with clearance. Another throw to Stuttgart. This game still beautifully balanced. Like to go into the next round against Rangers and some real money making. Of course, the European League taking over after that the following rounds. And it really, as I've said before, dipping your hand in the honey pot. You're playing time added on at the end of the first 45 minutes. Played in once again, then there should be Lukic's ball, and he was quite comfortably. And it's looked after. Extremo. Golfer. Out of play. Golka and 
who scored the goal. Thrown out of Leeds United, hoping to get a word with Howard Wilkinson before he goes off to the dressing room to get his reaction to that first half. Here's Chris White. John Newsom. Needs to look bright and confident. Just punched that one moment with a fine header. It really was an excellent header by Golka. As Dennis Law was saying, there was precious little Leeds United marking around him. There goes the half-time whistle. It's 1-1 here in Barcelona between Leeds and Stuttgart. Howard, quick comment on the first half. Well, never going to be easy, and it's proved that way. We're doing quite well. A couple of things we've got to tighten up on, but it could have been worse. All on the whole, apart from the last 10 minutes when they got a bit of a grip of the game, quite pleased. Thank you. The substitutions have been made in the half-time interval. We start the second half with the score at 1-1. Stuttgart in the red strip to kick off. Walter was saying it's uh, a good first half performance by Leeds, but it's showing again that you really do at this European, uh, at this stage of the game, you do have to concentrate the whole second year on the pitch. It's uh, one slip and you're done for. Volta, but White put it away very steadily indeed. A little touchdown there by uh, Lee Chapman. Goal for the goal scorer. Volta very nearly getting in behind Newsom, but Newsom did well to uh, stretch out a long leg and get that one away. Throw then to Stuttgart. Good fouls. Just going in there. It was uh, Batty, I think, who got an acrobatic and important little header there as that ball looked to be heading towards Fritz Walter. Fronzek's head, but Cantona's back heel coming off the German defender for a Leeds United throw to be taken by David Batty. Strachan. Some neat little play there by Strachan and by Batty. Flick for the outside of the boot there by Batty. Speeds header, but Strachan was down and injured, it seemed to me, after the ball had gone. Tackled by Kurgel. Dennis Law? I didn't really see it, Brian. I was watching uh, Speed there actually being shoved off the ball. Christoph Baum on the left with a moustache. Peter Hernis, the two men behind Stuttgart. a quieter start for Leeds in the second half and I think maybe that equalising goal has just shaken them a little bit and maybe they you know the first 10 or 15 minutes of the second half they might not be as adventurous as they were in the first half particularly as Walter Smith was saying with the two full, full backs in particular pushing off the Rigo and Fairclough and I mean White so that, that may be just a little bit of a sort of 10 minute spell where nothing particularly happened Volt header. That wouldn't worry me actually if they took a slightly more cautious approach. Take what chances are coming, but also be well aware of the danger of Stuttgart on the counter attack. Gets Strachan and a yellow card against Fronzek. Well, 
Well, again, I mean, Frontex come in there and clattered Strachan down. Italian referee did rightly book them. That's his second yellow card in uh, this round, which means that if Stuttgart do go forward to play Glasgow Rangers, he'll miss the first leg there as Chapman. And a goal kick. Chapman clearly thought that was uh, a corner. Nice little movement there, back and forward. But I think Chapman it tends think to suggest that uh, Lee Chapman was coming kind of the old soldier there a bit. Correct. Good job by McAllister. What a good one. A nice little knockdown by Cantona. And uh, Cantona offside. Yes, we haven't seen a, a, a great deal of the front two, as I said early on in the first half, wasn't it? The ball's knocked up to Chapman. I mean, Cantona well offside there, but. Uh, you know, they haven't really been in the game, but they've got to keep battling. This is, you know, keep the Stuttgart defence on the hop all the time, and it will be a battle for them. It's Schaefer for Stuttgart. Looking forward, speed, a lovely touch by him, but he can't get it picked up by McAllister. Dubacek to Kurgle. Dubacek to Fair club, a long wavelength there with Strachan, all with the touch. McAllister, driving forward again as Batty does through that midfield. And here is Batty taking the ball from McAllister, flicking it now for Strachan, with Dorigo away in a good deal of space on the left-hand side. Cross coming in now towards Lee Chapman, Look very assured the 22-year-old has come into the uh, centre of this Leeds United defence tonight. Dorigo playing it forward again towards Lee Chapman. Buchwald hanging all over him. Chapman complaining. Referee wanting none of it. Certainly it's a frustrating night for Lee Chapman. He's got Buchwald around him all the time. A very experienced defender. The ball played there. The Defender with not a lot of experience, Newsom doing very well and finding Strachan with it. Strachan just knocking Kurgle out of the way, brings it forward, tries to get it into Canton and might get it back again though. Fronzek turning it this time for Sverison. Now up to Golka, the goal scorer in that first half, playing it through. Walters after this one. Newsom's got to get across there and does it superbly. Excellent piece of defender. I think there was a few people worried uh, when Newsom went to the central defender. Uh, central of the defence, but he's played extremely well tonight. And this was a very, very important tackle on uh, Volta. So a throw to Stuttgart. Stremel with it. Buchwald. Speed, Stremel, Buchwald, again it's Buchwald, problems here, problems here for Leeds, but not now. Well, if that had been a better ball in, then it really could have been uh, very serious for Leeds. Dalton was waiting at the near post, Dubacic, near forward again, John Newsom. David Batty, up to Cantona. And says the referee, Cantona and Schaefer falling to the ground, speed. Dorigo, Callister, knocked out of the way by Dubacic. Buck playing it in to Golka. Got Kurgel one side of him, Balta the other, here's Kurgel. Caught the leads, hold this up, Kurgel shot charged away there by Fairclough. Bronzek, Volker, Strachan forward to Cantona, I don't think Strachan will get to that one, Cantona's touch deserted him there. Fairclough going in, losing out, Dubacic now for Stuttgart. Three more shots. Knocked away by Chris White. David Batty for Leeds. 
towards Chapman again. Buchwald there with him, shoving Chapman in the back. Knocking him to the ground, Chapman gets up again. McAllister knocks it forward. Immel. Putting it rather clumsily to touch and Strachan trying to make something of it with a quick throw. Gets it back from Lee Chapman, knocks it forward in again there, but again Buchwald who's done a really good marking job on Chapman. It's frustrating for Chapman and frustrating for Lees, but you have to say that Guido Buchwald has done a really good defensive job tonight for Stuttgart. Well he's been all over Chapman hasn't he? He was in the first two games and certainly he's continued in tonight's game. They've been a bit more adventurous in the second half. I think that equalising goal just before half-time will give them a tremendous amount of confidence. And they've come out and they've played it a little bit better than they did in the first. Here's David Batty. Remember, the match must be decided tonight. Either after 90 minutes, we'll get 30 minutes of extra time if it's still level after 90. And if it's still level after that, we get, of course, a penalty shootout. Chapman knocking it down for Batty. In for Gordon Strachan. McAllister's made a good break away towards the far post, but Strachan took it the other way. It's a lead throw. Fairclough can take it. Good foul. Ronzek, this kick. Batty trying to turn it away, Straymoor being helped, at least to Batty being helped out by uh, Newsom, it comes now for Chapman and now for Strachan again. Fairclough had gone forward but can't get to that one, it's a goal kick. Ten minutes of the second half gone, 1-1 here in Barcelona between Leeds United and Stuttgart for the right to play Glasgow Rangers in the next round. First leg at Ibrox, second leg at Ellen Road. their shell a little bit now, Leeds United, McAllister, Cantona, being well watched by Schaefer, this is Buck, for a to Kirby, Sverison, Dubacic, Cantona, yes, and Cantona's away now. Chapman up there with him, and he showed too much of it to Gorker, a good male midfielder who got back so well and so quickly. Sveris. Good foul. through to Valter, trying to get it back to uh, Kurgle again. Leeds at the moment just can't get a foot on this ball. And Batty gets a yellow card. Yes, it looks, uh, yes, well, the referee's booked that many of it. Maybe he just left his foot a little bit hanging in the air and caught Sverison. Yes, he did. No, the referee was right there, so there was no danger that Batty was going to get the... But as you say, Brian, it uh, Leeds have been pushed back. I, mean, I, I just felt that Suzuka, in this particular the second half, they looked a little bit more confident. Now they've started to push forward. Maybe they feel that they could get a second goal, but that, certainly the equalising goal has done them a part of good. And particularly Kogo uh, coming in on this, uh, the number 11 on this side, he's been more prominent, he was hardly in the game in the first half. So I'm sure that the manager has said, that, listen, let's try and, you know, get the second goal. And we push leads back uh, quite a bit. Oh yes, yes. there's no 
There is no, no that, danger. That would have been painful. <laughs> and a free kick then. Let's hope this is not painful for Leeds United. Ferris and the unfortunate man. Golka behind this free kick and Falter also. Fonzek also. Falter lining up the free kick. Well, to the last vast empty spaces behind that goal. I think he was being a little bit optimistic there. I mean, that must have been all of what, 35 yards? I, mean, it was, I don't think he's got that really shot. The goal kick then for Leeds. Lukic with it. Coming up to the quarter of an hour mark at the start of the second half. Completely fooled Schaefer, gets the ball into the path of Gary Speed, does it? Cantona no, was waiting for it and Fonzek was in. White trying to keep it going now for Leeds, playing it in towards Eric Cantona again. Will it come for Chapman? Will it come now instead for Fairclough? Strachan. And it gets to that byline, gets a corner for Leeds off Michael Fonzek. So White's gone forward. Chapman stationed at the near post. Fairclough, Cantona in there. Lucent's come up from the back as well. Strachan's corner for Leeds. Floated in, knocked away. Callister trying to turn it back again. Raymore getting it forward, there's a good break on here for Stuttgart, could be problems here for Leeds, it's Buck, Golka wanted it played a bit quicker than that, and in goes Batty, a lovely little challenge by Batty, and then turns defence into attack with a nice little ball to Gary Speed. Oh, but a bad one by Speed, not reaching Chapman. Fairclough with the throw. Foul on Cantona. Michael to Schaefer. the elbow in there. And Leeds United's free kick. A bit of play acting that I think just to take the Germans off guard. A little bit of play acting there as uh, Strachan and McAllister are showing apparent frustration with each other, just hoping that they would get the German defense to relax for a second and then whip in that other free kick. Oh, they got a corner lead which Strachan will take. Chapman again at the near post and plenty up from the back. Again, charging away for Stuttgart. Play this time for Golka. Nice gentle pass forward to Kurgel on this side. Also marauding uh, in those central areas again, but at the moment it's Dubacic. Looking for a good cross in. Newsom getting it away with a good header, finding Gary Speed, knocked away quickly by him. And Schaefer clearing it for Stuttgart. Gains speed getting in quickly. And this time Cantona gets possession. Hasn't been his night so far, Big Eric, has it? Well, it's been difficult, Brian. It's not the type of game that uh, has sort of suits him tonight. There's been a lot of high balls and the long balls battling. And they've not really, you know, there's more or less got to stick that all the time. And he's had a couple of nice little runs, hasn't he? But it's not just quite come off. But he's won the corner. You never know something like that. Yes. Which Gordon Strachan will take. 
white on the edge of the six yard area Chapman there right at that near post floated towards Chapman looked as though he's being pushed and Newsom with a shot it certainly looked as though Chapman was being very badly pushed there as he tried to get to uh, to that corner but he's, he's done it all the time isn't he Bookfell is always he's pushing him all the time and of course when the ball came to Newsom he was a snap shot wasn't it didn't get a hold of it minute mark of the second half Leeds United 1 Stuttgart 1 here's McAllister in yellow shirted Leeds deflected there Chapman very nearly got to it a little deflection there I think of Schaefer just wrong footed German defence for a moment well, that's where they've got to go down that down the flanks whether it's on the left or the right and then you may get like the Cantona or and Chapman come in there that, it's much easier for them it's much more difficult for defenders striking again with the corner floating it in once more can Chapman get his head to it no Germans flick it away Golker getting it up to Buck but there's not a lot of support for him Golker's gone forward even Buchwald now getting up from the back and a long sweeping ball to this side of the field picks up Ludwig Kurgel Holding on. This fair class doing his best. Getting some support from Batty. Fonzek hitting it. My goodness me, Dorigo. Caught for a moment was in great danger. I think probably he did as well. Of putting that through his own net. They've played much better as a unit this second half, haven't they? All right, they've defended when Leeds have attacked, they've defended in numbers, and when I mean numbers, they've had 11 back, but they've had, they've attacked, and there was a full-back front tech to come up into that attack and have the shot. So, they, as a unit, they've played much better. Rodrigo's heart beating fiercely there for a moment or two as Kurgel now lines up this corner for Stuttgart. Bonzek right in front of Lukic, locked in there. Leeds get it away quite comfortably, but it won't quite reach Strachan. Buck. Now Batty. Getting it away, McAllister. First off now to Cantona. And again, Cantona's pass is found wanting. tickets played for Germany in this last summer's European Championship in Sweden is Schaefer Sverison to get back down that flank again to Rigo sticking with him Stuttgart's throw coming towards the halfway mark of the second half now 1-1 one, one still here in Barcelona It's Strachan very nearly did. Ronzek though can pick it up now for Stuttgart. They've got plenty of red shirts forward. Long shot, shouldn't really worry Lukic. No, the effort was a good effort, but uh, John Lukic had that covered all the way. It was a long shot. I mean, it was a, he could hit the ball. Franzek can certainly hit it, but uh, there's no danger. Lukic has got that well covered. Leeds United substitutes tonight. Mervyn Day, Carl Schatz, David Rowcastle, Scott Sellers and Ray Wallace. Ron Wallace not fit to be actually on the substitute bench here. They had hoped they might just press him into service and frighten uh, Stuttgart's defence with his quick fire attacks. But he couldn't quite make it. Ray Wallace is on the bench there. Screen. wide again. Golker shots. Certainly a much improved performance by Stuttgart in the second half, but here's Cantona playing it nicely into the path of Gary Speed. Chapman's poised in the box. 
playing in now for Dorigo, knocked in first time, Chapman was diving in with a header, but the angle was all wrong for him. It was very difficult uh, to get any direction on that, any of the sort of, he was in front of the ball really, wasn't he? And, uh, couldn't do it, but should that play, they played much better, as we say, in the second. United's midfield looks a little bit ragged, they sort of lost, you know, they sort of getting strung out, allowing Stuttgart to come through. But you wouldn't know where to put your money at the moment, would you? Oh, not at all. No. Good jump again by Gary Speed. And one there by Eric Cantona. Strachan. The work that Pat is doing. This side of the field now, taking that pass from Strachan. The back heel came off for Kurgle. A Leeds United throw, Chris Fairclough waiting to take it, leaves it for David Batty. Towards Chapman, it's going to be a corner for Leeds. Now you see again, they will pull everybody back into the penalty area, and this is a situation where the corner comes to go, just need a little break, you know, because it's not always cleared uh, correct. Strachan with it, floated towards Chapman, and in the end, well, it was Stravel hacking it away to touch. When there's so many bodies there, you've seen that, I mean, it was just, it was hacked away, wasn't it? Batty, knocking it in again, towards Canton, chested down by him, McAllister hoping to pick it up, but McAllister's feet were high there, on the Sverison, free kick. Stuttgart. Just the ball just stopped there, didn't it? Uh, that was quite. And of course, it was just clear. Then. Twenty minutes of this second half to go. Might well be facing extra time. Buchwald, a left foot shot without any power, but it was deflected by a Leeds defender, which just for a moment, Newsom, I think it was. For a moment, almost a little flutter in that Leeds defence, but Lukic was nicely behind it. There's his clearance up towards Lee Chuck, knocked in by him towards Strike. Dubacic. Volker finding uh, Stremo. Volker again, given to Rigo the chance to get in there now, Dorigo motoring down that flank, speed outside him, still with Dorigo. And knocked in and knocked away well by the defender for a corner for Leeds. Well, Dorigo had done extremely well there, didn't he? He got behind the Stuttgart defence and really if the final ball, Brian, had just been a little bit, instead of driven across, it had been chipped because there was Cantona and Chapman there at the far post. Wonderful leads. Right up again for this one. And still this European Cup tie perfectly balanced at 1-1. Right, trying to flick it on. Chapman trying an overhead. No one in the yellow shirt there near enough to rod it in. Matty now retrieving it for Leeds. Cantona. Oh, he's lost possession again there. And committed the foul in trying to get it back again really hasn't been quite right tonight. It was a lost cause from the moment uh, Malta took possession of it. Kubacic. Interception there by Fairclough, but again, Cantona's pass has gone astray. Didn't look likely to reach McAllister, and it set Leeds going again, uh, Stuttgart going again. Golker being hustled by, mm, oh, by, by uh, Speed, rather. It's all beginning, actually, with a mistake by uh, Eric Cantona. Yeah, he hasn't had the uh, best of nights in regard in his first touch, and he lost that ball, and of course, Golker went right up. Speed could have been pulled on with foul. The referee let play go on, and there was Golka to a really uh, tremendous shot over the bar.
Now Carl Schutt warming up now, the striker for Leeds. It might just mean that, as we do, it'll be Howard Wilkinson feels that uh, it's not Eric Cantona's night. In the meantime, it's Fronzek. Little touch now for Kurgel. Cross comes Newsom again. Done such a good job at the back for Leeds United tonight. But a throw to Stuttgart. gets it away. That is nerve very well in a very ticklish situation there for a moment. Buck. Chasing to Rigo. Again, okay, Chris White sticks out the foot, gets it away. Does it come all the way through to Cantona? No, can't quite get possession of it. Stuttgart again to Golka. There we go. and a good one, Fonzik up there ahead of him, gets the cross in, and a very good cross indeed. Good play there by Stuttgart, but the ball has gone out for the corner. Strachan is very annoyed with that decision. And I think Leeds are going to take Eric Cantona off. And I think Leeds are going to take Eric Cantona off. Very disappointed as he comes off, actually, Eric Cantona, but Carl Schutt comes on. Uh, took the corner while the substitution was being made, so that'll have to be taken again. Volker will take it. Gonzix again right in front and trying to get in front of Lukic. There he is. There's the corner coming in. Leeds getting it away once more. And Dorigo. Up to Shot. His first touch. The buck is there. Shot now. Now can he find Strachan? He had a chance to find Strachan, but he finds the net. He's straight on Carl Schutt, who celebrates a birthday tomorrow and celebrates a goal tonight. Absolutely. A wonderful shot. I was going to say, but absolutely fantastic, wasn't it? Because when the ball was played through to him, he took it round the defender, as we'll see. I thought he had lost it. He then looked as though he was going to pass it to his right. He changed his mind, came back. I thought he'd lost it again. He took it forward and had a left shot, not met the goalkeeper. Can't get better than that. On the pitch for the first time. Oh, absolutely magnificent. Scored within a minute of coming on. An absolute master stroke by manager Howard Wilkinson. And a joyous sight there for all fans of Leeds United. Carl Schott puts Leeds 2-1 ahead. Leeds with, let me see, 13 minutes left. Schaefer. The word from the touchline is that Eric Cantona has had a little touch of tonsillitis all week and is feeling just that little bit under the weather. What an absolute master stroke there by Howard Wilkinson. What good timing. Oh, here could be problems, Dubicic coming in. And the flag stays down. Dolka trying to turn it back in, and I think probably hit the post with it, or certainly the side netting. It goes behind, it's a goal kick. Really what a let off there, because I, 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 I hope we see it again. Oh, hit the and a photographer in trouble as well. Oh, you'll get a corner for that, I thought it hit the post. But I, when, when Dubicic knocks his ball, it looked as though he was offside. I think it's uh, called Golka. Go Golka it is, yes. And it hits the post. I'm sure it hits the post. Yes, it, it does. It was. And that 
Somebody must have collided into the photographer then. When I first saw it, I thought he was offside. There was no danger. He was not offside. You no. can see that now. No danger. Chris Fairclough playing him on. Correct. But the photographers, I think, in a bit of trouble behind that goal there. The uh, physios have been there. Golker is uh, back on the field of play again. Leeds United leading by two goals to one. And we'll give you a countdown of the time now. Just over 11 minutes to go now. Here comes Strachan. Bursting on the scene. Shot in the middle. Chapman in the middle too. McAllister coming in as well. He can't quite get to that one. Shot can't get to it either. Tries to hold back Buchwald. Brings down Buchwald. That might well be a yellow card for Carl Schutt. What an amazing three or four minutes he's had on the field then. Scores a goal that puts Leeds 2-1 ahead. And then a moment or two later gets a yellow card. I think a little bit of frustration, wasn't it? Because when the ball had come in from Strachan, it sort of went past Schutt and he just chased a book valve. Mind you, to be fair, that book valve has hit plenty through the game. It's for high time somebody hit him as it turns. And Adrian Knuck, the Swiss international striker, coming on. It's their second and last substitute. It's the last stroke that Stuttgart could play. It's Sverison who's gone off. Dubacic with the free kick, important that Leeds stay firm now, Buchwald with a header, Lukic gets there, we're down to 10 minutes to play. Knopp, who scored a couple of goals for Switzerland against Scotland in a World Cup qualifier a few weeks back, so Gary McAllister will know all about him. Well, Leeds really have just got to try and calm it down a little bit. Was it this lovely? I mean, he's just to come on, knock it, and not make the goalkeeper as well. I thought he had a birthday at about this time, and I saw him in the hotel today, and I said, when is it? He said, it's, it's Saturday. He said, but don't tell too many people about it. Well, <laughs> you all know at home now. And what a celebration if Leeds can just hold on for another ten minutes. Here's Batty. Into Strachan. Shots waiting on the far side. Gary Speed. And away come Stuttgart again. Here's Knopp. Nine minutes left. And a good challenge there. That time I think it was Torigo. Knocked away there by Lukic. Long towards Carl Schutt. Speed will pick this one up for Leeds. Shot waiting in the middle. Here's Strachan on this side of the field. Good jump by Buchwald. Good defending there by the experienced German. And sends Kurgel on his way again. Nine minutes left. Walk up. Stopped by White. Here's Fairclough. To Chapman. Battling away there. Fairclough just getting it through to Batty. Turning away from Knuck. Kurgel's after him. Speed turning away again. Turning away once more, this time from Volta. And then finding Batty. Don't get too cocky now, just play good, simple football and disciplined football leads. Eight minutes left. Up goes Shot. Finds Chuck. Chapman Bay is very shaky, very deep for some reason here, keeping possession. Finds Strachan. Knocking it through to Carl Schutt again. A free kick for Leeds United. It'll take up a few more seconds. That'll do them nicely if they could keep possession and don't do anything sort of crazy. And at times, not throw too many men forward. Keep themselves there. And the strike and put a nice little ball. Now, shot. speed with the shot. Well saved by Immel. Grabbed it at the second attempt. Newsom being uh, harassed here by Volta. The header back means, of course, that Lukic can safely gather it with his hands. There's the free kick being quickly taken. The speed shot being saved at the second attempt by Hibble. Batty again. White. In forward towards Chapman. Newsom. Speed. White getting it away again to Lee Chapman. And there's no one there in a yellow shirt. Dolka. Buchwald. Don't 
anybody take anything for granted yet? Kubacic. Golka, rather Fronzek with a shot. Now it's obvious that they're going to try and get the equaliser more down and they're pushing people forward, but if Leeds could just try and keep possession and don't like uh, Chapman there give away a, a bad ball, didn't he, really? I, mean, we just, I know it's, it's easy talking here, it's more difficult on the pitch. The Leeds fans will obviously be very happy, but if they can do that, you know, and just sort of keep the ball away from suit, that is, don't let them get possession, then maybe they're going to win the game. Fair club. Little touch by shot. Strack and playing it in now for Lee Chapman. And it's a goal kick. And that was Gary Speed there, and I think Lee acknowledges that. Uh, it was a terrific ball into him, but when Lee got it, Gary Speed was on his left. You could see him just coming into the penalty area now. Instead of squaring that ball, he collected the shoot, didn't he? He pulled it that gap. Inside the last six minutes, Batty meeting that uh, goal kick from Immel. away that time by Chris White to Rigo trying to get there first but couldn't make it to first place but White gets it clear up to Carl Schutt just don't take anything for granted at home at the moment so it's looking good at the moment as we come to the five minute mark and of course that Stuttgart won the German first division title last season with a goal in the last five minutes of the final game. Oh, Brian, what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Batty has been everywhere. And what a good ball by Batty. And look at those legs of Strachan carrying him forward again. 35 years old, so full of life and fire and invention. And a good cross in there. And Chapman! Flying header. Strachan has been absolutely superb, as you say, he's never stopped running all the game, I and mean, when you feel that they're leading to one, you think sometimes he'd stay back, he didn't, he's gone forward, he's knocked a lovely cross over Chapman, beautiful header, thought it was in actually, because he connected well, didn't he, it was a lovely cross, nice header, not far off. Offside flag has gone up against Lee Chapman, we're into the last four minutes now, Leeds leading by two goals to one. Offside flag has gone up against Lee Chapman. We're into the last four minutes now. Leeds leading by two goals to one. Buchwald, walking it forward again. McAllister's right back there defending now. And Newsom, who's been an absolute rock at the back tonight for Leeds, gets it away. Chapman trying to play Carl shut in again. Schaefer, Buchwald, Stremel going forward, Harry McAllister, Dorigo, Dorigo, skated over the last challenge, he's got to wait for some reinforcements to come up as well, but speed is there, onto the left foot, Gary Speed! And Dorigo onto the left foot, Gary, uh, Dorigo, no. Well, we were forcing that ball in from the commentary box there, but it just wouldn't go, and it's Buchwald instead bringing it away, and Leeds still leading by a goal to one, uh, by two goals to one, and three minutes of the match left. That's gone out of play, that's a goal kick. We'll be quite happy with that, but Dorigo did ever so well, then he picked up Speed, Speed it, he knocked it well past I thought well it's in but it was a good save two and a half minutes Leeds leading by two goals to one Strachan and Schott are scorers <laughs> really this is a, a tie that has taken so many twists and turns and uh, so much of it has been played behind UEFA's locked doors and I think you know one further word probably that needs to be said about that is that through all these UEFA politics that Leeds have been restrained and dignified in just about everything they've done from their chairman downwards and now possibly tonight they're just a few minutes away from getting their just dessert just over two minutes left free kick not taken from the right place 
We're coming towards the last 90 seconds. So important that leads stay really firm, keep their shape, do the simple thing. Retreating a deep free kick there. Two defenders going for that one. Knut trying to hammer it through. And I think for a moment it caught Lukic on the wrong leg. It did as well. I mean, Nuk, uh, he hit it reasonably well. And so Lukic sort of, you'll see him, he sort of gets a bit slippy. Oh dear. But he saved it. Well, Frontek trying to hold up Lukic taking that, uh, making that clearance. And I really don't see the point of that. I mean, the one thing that there, there's the shot that Lukic saved. The one thing that Stuttgart surely won is to keep the game in motion now. We're inside the last minute. Plus whatever time the Italian referee adds on. And it's Glasgow Rangers at this moment who await Leeds United in the next round. Leeds can just hold on for these last few seconds. Here's Carl Schott. A real super sub tonight. And Leeds get a throw. That's what to do if Carl Schott could keep it on on that far side, just, I know it doesn't, it's not pretty to watch, but uh, it, is the, it is the thing to do. Another throw for Leeds. As the stopwatch ticks round now to the last five seconds of normal play. We're into time added on, it's yet another throw for Leeds United. Dorigo, for speed, don't give it away here Leeds, the Stuttgart comes storming forward again, they know it's the last chance for them, Kurgel in possession now, getting it forward now to Golka, but look at Newsom again there, running it out of play, the throw goes Leeds United's way, he's been an absolute star tonight John Newsom. they're not uh, hurrying Leeds, who can blame them? It's taken a long time to get to this point in this tie after all the heartache that went on in the, behind those closed doors in Switzerland in UEFA. Fronzek playing it in. There's still some work to be done though. It's Buck, the dangerous number seven. It's Buchwald as well with a shot, but it's gone wide of Lukic's goal and that could well be the last chance. we played over a minute now of time added on. Lukic won't be in any great hurry to take this uh, goal kick. But for the sake of appearances and in front of the referee there he's hurrying along and it's all over Leeds are through to play Glasgow Rangers in the next round of the European Cup by two goals to one their goal scorers Gordon Strachan and Carl Schott their celebration now on the bench and on the field and amongst the Leeds United fans smiles everywhere we're going to get a view of Howard Wilkinson in a moment or two and also the Saints with Dennis Law. What a great story then from Barcelona. Leeds win by two goals to one. With me, the two goal scorers and the manager. First of all, congratulations. Great night for Leeds. Magnificent night. Magnificent result. Terrific performance. And you've got the two stars here. And a great substitution by the manager, Carl. <laughs> Still trying to get me breath back. I mean, it, it was a brilliant ball by um, Tony Dorigo and I just went for it. And it's your birthday tomorrow and you're the super sub of the night. Yeah, 24 again. And what about Gordon Strachan? I mean, here's, here's the old boy back in business again in a big way. Yeah, it's a long time since I've been to 24. But uh, this uh, this is one of the greatest nights of my career. And it just shows you that you can never take anything for granted. It's uh, been a wonderful night. And hello, Leslie and the kids. Born again. You've got How uh, Howard, you've got Glasgow Rangers, whose manager's here tonight. Yeah. In the yeah. next round, tell us well, about that.